How's it going everybody? Welcome back and today I'm bringing you guys a quick NordVPN tutorial. So NordVPN is one of the best well-rounded value VPNs out there and if you're new to VPNs I don't blame you. You know you might be a little bit confused when you first see the uh, interface right here but it's very intuitive. You know once you uh, load up the VPN right here you've got the application you can just zoom in. Let's say you want to connect to the United States. Zoom into the map and just connect to any of these locations. Just click on one of these dots. And as you can tell right here, it's connecting. And now I'm connected. I can use the button right here to refresh and it will connect me to another server. I can simply disconnect by clicking this button right here, or I can just pause for one hour, 15 minutes or five minutes. So let's go ahead and just turn it off for now. You've got over 5,600 servers in 59 countries, and you will be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. You've got five types of specialty servers right here. And if you're interested in learning about what they do, uh, you'll find a full review down below. Now, what you want to learn about NordVPN before you go ahead and start using it is in the settings right here. So you've got connection and you want to make sure they're using the best performing protocol which is the nordlinks making nordvpn arguably the fastest vpn in the business you've got custom dns for an easy way to change your dns so uh, this is a pretty good feature that you can use if you'd like or you can just uh, stick to the nordvpn dns you also have the kill switch which will kill your internet connection when the vpn disconnects unexpectedly making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel. Otherwise, it will cut your internet connection, preventing any rare IP leaks. And you have the app kill switch, which will disconnect selected applications instead of disconnecting your entire connection when the VPN disconnects. And of course, you have split tunneling and split tunneling will allow to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So this is a pretty useful feature. Uh, not very necessary when using NordVPN, but let's say you don't really want to use the VPN for anything else except your, I don't know, maybe Google Chrome, right? So you can just go ahead and add Google Chrome. And it's as if you're using the VPN only for Google Chrome or the other way around if you would like. So, you know, your entire connection would be using uh, the VPN except for Google Chrome. So it's a pretty useful feature. As far as everything else, you don't really have to mess with anything but you can go to general and just mess around with these options right here. These are all up to preference. You know, they have nothing to do with, with the functionality of the VPN itself, except that you can, for example, start NordVPN without opening the app window or be notified when connecting and disconnecting from a VPN server, or you can auto start the NordVPN app every time you turn on your PC. You can switch from dark mode to light mode, definitely prefer dark mode. And if we just go back to connection real quick, you notice that we have auto connect servers. So, you know, when you can to specific Wi-Fi networks or when you're on an Ethernet network, you can select specific networks that you trust or don't trust with trusted Wi-Fi as well. And you have Quick Connect right here, which will connect to the fastest VPN server every time you launch the application. And right here, you have a list of servers that you can choose from instead of using the map design if you prefer to not use the map. And of course, if you prefer to use the map, you can just minimize the list right here. And you have a bunch of bonus features right here, such as threat protection, mesh net, and dark web monitor. Now, dark web monitor will keep an eye out for data linked to your email address, passwords and contacts or any other personal details. And it will alert you if any of these get exposed. You have MeshNet, which is pretty much encrypted remote access. It's a very useful feature, especially if you're sharing files with, uh, you know, your company or your company's trying to share files with you. You can share these files or just get remote access over the encrypted connections of NordVPN, as well as a mini antivirus, which will protect your device from infected files before they download to your device and it will just block these uh, files before they damage your device so that's pretty much it for this video now that you know what most of these features do you can go ahead and just select the uh, server that you're looking for earlier we used the map design this time we'll go ahead and just use um, you know the list right here let's say you know you want to connect to one of these servers you can go ahead and just click and you should be good to go or what you can do is click the dots right here and select from one of these locations. And it's as simple as that. If you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about NordVPN with regards to the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full review down below. And you'll also find links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to jump straight to that. Of course, NordVPN is covered by 30 day money back guarantee. So in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason, you can just ask for that refund. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them, like and subscribe. 
subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.